hard to imagine myself standing here today talking about leadership. Because 10 years ago, I was a very, very different person. I used to not listen to people, just like Sunny Wong. <laughs> I used to annoy everyone. One time I had a professor who told me to not take pictures in the classroom, and I told her that I was taking a video, so no, no problem. And so, leaders, what changed? How did, like, what changed me to be the person that I am today, standing in front of you, talking about my leadership style? Well, if no one's gonna guess, what changed is I decided to do an internship in Japan. And that internship, I needed to change in so that I don't, so that I don't annoy my boss so that I don't get fired. True story. So when I was in Japan, it was a different culture, different lifestyle. And coming from Canadian culture and not having worked very much, my boss expected me to be punctual, but I was not on time. I was usually fairly late. And also, I drank a lot of coffee. But I was always tired, I lacked energy, and I just didn't, I just wasn't that happy. So I decided to change. I needed to change so that I can be happy again, so that I can not get fired. And so that, and so what did I do? So if I had lack of energy, I started running more, I started exercising more. I started eating healthier. And slowly over time, I got more energy. And the more energy I got, I used this energy to wake up at 6 a.m. and do yoga in my room. <laughs> I woke up at 6 a.m. It's true. <laughs> and over time, I showed up before my boss got to work. So I was safe. I would not get fired from work. Yes. <laughs> and this was the start of my personal growth. And personal growth is, is to me, very, very important. Because if I can grow myself, I can grow the people around me. I know what they want and I know what they need so that they can be better. And so after I left Japan after my internship, I, I was volunteering for my engineering club. And a year, a year after volunteering, I became the president of that club where I learned a lot of my leadership experiences. And now I'm the president of Shinnitoa's Master. And I have, <laughs> yes, I'm also wearing a suit. <laughs> and from, from these experiences has led me to be what I think is a good president. And I'll share you some of those experiences right now. So in January, there was a club officer training. There was a Chinese meeting at 9 a.m. So sorry, there was an English meeting at 9 a.m. And there's a Chinese meeting at 2 a.m. And thinking of, to myself, why would anyone, why would any Chinese person want to go to the Chinese meeting, sorry, English meeting at 9 a.m.? It's too early in a different language. Why would anyone do that? And so I told my team that I will go to the English meeting at 9 a.m. And everyone in my team to go to the 2 p.m. Chinese meeting. I will join them because we should all be together and work together as a team. And my whole officer team surprised me by telling me they had work, they had they had kids to take care of, <laughs> or they were not in Shenzhen so they couldn't come. And only Jenny, my VP, came. <laughs> and a month later, uh, Carol Ben, my area director hosted a, office, a, uh, a club officer training just for our club. And I'm very grateful for that. And I can see her leadership style like, that's helping our club. And it's very, very great. And then another example. So as president, I want to grow my club as much as I possibly could. So how did I do that? Well, first, I need to grow my officer team. I, for the, during the very first meeting, 
I asked every one of my officers what they wanted to gain from being a officer. Jane said she had a lot of ideas as VP and she wants to do them. I was like, oh, perfect. That means I don't need to tell you what to do. That is, just do it. Just go, go, go. <laughs> I will support you. <laughs> Other officers in my team wanted to learn more persuasive communication. It's like, okay. So what I did was I looked online to learn more about persuasive communication. And then a month ago, we had a membership renewal. And so I taught my VPM, April, and, and Jane, okay, these are some of the things that we could do to, to be able to increase our membership renewal. And right now we have about 70%, but 70% renewal, and, and I think it's okay because a lot of people are too busy with work or people have left Shenzhen because of work. So work is really terrible. Who thinks work is good? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly she does not think work is good. <laughs> <laughs> and so with that said, okay, after growing my officers, I need to grow my members. So how did I grow my members? I went to a lot of like workshops to learn more about communication. And so I did a, vo a vocal variety workshop for my club. I attended a speech contest and Kingsley did something very interesting that, that I never seen before during an evaluation. He used the word goals to evaluate a speech. <laughs> General purpose, opening, attractive body language, <laughs> Uh, logical flow and uh, yeah. supplements. Yeah. So I decided to do something different. I had H, A, B, E, S. Humor, uh, audience, uh, sorry, asking questions, B, vocal variety, E, eye contact, and S, stage position to help grow my members. And they were very surprised that I did this because I've never done this. And, for, and to be a leader, you need to grow yourself first. But once you can grow yourself, you can grow the people around you. And that is my leadership style. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I have one more to just one of you. Okay. Professional. Okay. <laughs> so, professional. So before coming here, uh, uh, you dress yourself or you come like this afterwards? Oh, I actually work for a long time. Thank <laughs> you.